Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about building content types. As you see in this document library, I have added a few columns. I've created the quoted date. I've created the decision date, the value, and the decision columns in this library. And those are well and good. However, if I create a new item here, a new Excel workbook, for example, there is no real relation to this quote library. The information is not there. And you can create any type of document within this library. So if you want to control what gets created here, that you want to only allow Word documents and only Word documents with a particular template, then you want to create a content type. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next few demos. And usually when I do a solution for a customer or for my own company, I always think twice, should I do a content type? It takes a bit of extra clicking, a bit of extra hassle, but it's usually worth the trouble. So I always recommend doing a content type. It does, however, mean that you need to start over if you've gotten this far. Uh, you need to create all the columns again. There's no way to upgrade an existing document library to a content type, regretfully. At least no built-in SharePoint, no code solution. But I'm going to do that. So I'll go in and um, go into the library settings and start by removing this document library. And then I'm going to start over and define what a quote means for our organization. So I'll go into site settings and find the site content types and create a new one. I'm going to call that Contoso quote, and that's going to be of the type document, document content type, and it's going to inherit from a regular document. I'm going to place that in a new group called Contoso. Click OK there. And as you see now, I have a content type with two columns in it, the name of the file, of course, and the title. There's always a title there. Now I'm going to start by adding new columns to this. So I'm going to start adding the columns that I previously had in the document library. So I will create the quote date, make that a date column, put that in the Contoso columns group, which doesn't exist yet. So I'll put it there. And OK. Very good idea to put a description in your columns always. So I'm going to do that now after the fact. So the date when the quote is due to be submitted, just to be super clear what this is. All right. So that's uh, that column. I'm going to go back to the content type. There we are, the Contoso quote. Add another one, decision date. That's going to be another date column. And now I'm going to add it to the existing Contoso group there. And then we're going to add two more. The value, that's going to be a currency. And I don't want any decimals on that, but I do want it in the Contoso group. And finally, we're going to have the new site column called decision. And that's going to be a choice. D, and that's going to be placed in the Contoso group. The default one is going to be undecided, sold or declined. The customer declined or we sold it. Makes a bit of sense. And the default value is, of course, going to be one undecided. And the reason I put one, two, and three in front of these is that I um, want them to be in a logical order. So we're done with my content type. In the next demonstration, I'm going to use my content type and apply it to a document library. Thank you for watching this demonstration.